Hi everybody, happy Monday. Um, I just wanted to give you a quick overview of Google Classroom um, before we start um, actually meeting in person on Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday this week. Um, so this is Google Classroom's homepage. So if you go to classroom.google.com, this is what it should look like. You can also access it if you're logged in to your um, your Google account, you can also access it if you click the little waffle button and then click the classroom button. That's also how you can get here. All right, so um, let's say it's Wednesday, you're in cohort C, and it's time for you to come meet your teacher, um, and you're in my first period. So you're gonna click this button right here, and here is Makely period one. So you see I have the time listed here. This is the time that you're expected to be logged in to our Google Meet. Um, remember, we are following the cohort schedule. So if you are group C, I will see you on Wednesday. If you're group A, I'll see you on Thursday. And if you're group B, I will see you on Friday. Um, so what you're going to, going to do is, let's say you're group C, you're just going to click this link right here. And if you click it before I'm there, you won't be able to get in. Once I'm in the Google Meet, then you'll be able to get in and enter our classroom. Um, remember, the times are listed right here, so you know exactly when I expect to see you every day. Um, so this is called the stream. There's a couple of things you can see on the stream. So you can see any new assignments that I post, um, any announcements that I make, and you yourself actually can make an announcement to your class. Just remember to please keep it appropriate. The other thing you can see over here is the upcoming assignments that you have. So you have testing one, two, three, which is due on Wednesday. The other way to see what assignments you have is um, to click on classwork. You can see um, I have it labeled as 921, which is today, um, with the work that I want you to do for the day. So I will always label it with the date. That way you know exactly what you should be doing on that day. All right, so you're watching the Ed Puzzle right now. Congratulations, you did step one. Uh, the step, second thing you need to do is come down and complete testing one, two, three. I've also attached the syllabus. That way you can read through, get a good overview of what, um, what we're going to be doing this year. So you're going to click on testing one, two, three, and it's going to come up with a Google Doc. It should say your name. So I'm in the sample student, so I, my name is Jimmy Sample for today. Um, so you're going to click on this. And so I've, it's already saved some of my answers. So my favorite color is green. You're just going to click and type in your answers here. What is your favorite movie? Why? Avengers Endgame, because I love superheroes. Once you have these answered, you're going to click the turn in button in the top right hand corner of your screen. Uh, once you hit that turn in button, you can't redo the assignment. So you really need to make sure that you have answered every single question when submitting a Google Doc. If you haven't, you'll have to email me and I'll have to send it back to you and it's this whole big thing. So just make sure before you hit turn in, you are really for sure done. So you're gonna click turn in. And it's gonna say, awesome, you turned it in, great job. Um, <clears throat> so we're gonna come back to our classwork page here close out these two things. So the other important thing that you can get get to from the classwork page is your Google Calendar. So on your Google Calendar, if you click that button, you'll see um, holidays, but you'll also see that every day I have my 2 p.m. office hours. It'll also show up any assignments that you have on your Google Calendar on the day that they're due. Um, so every day I have office hours from 2 to 2.20 p.m. So if you're on a C day, I'm not going to see you on the A and B days. But if you have a question, this is a great way to come talk to me. Um, so if you just click on the office hours link and then click on join with Google Meet, you'll be put into a Google Meet and I'll be there to answer your questions on any of the work that you have. All right, so this is a great resource. You should be coming and talking to me if you have questions. I will always be there every day from 2 to 2.20. Um, the other really cool thing you can do um, on Google Classroom, so if you go to people, you'll see me. You can click this button and you can email me. Um, make sure 
that you don't put the entire email in the subject. This is just like a brief description of what you are emailing about. So it could be like help with homework. And then you're gonna click here and then type your email. If you type it all in the subject line, it's very hard for me to read. Um, please make sure that you're using um, not text lingo because I am not good at text lingo and I will be confused. So please use full words, no abbreviations. I think that's it for now. So make sure that you're completing testing one, two, three. Um, and I will probably be posting either like some stuff tomorrow just to go over some stuff. But if I don't post anything tomorrow, I will for sure see cohort C on Wednesday, A on Thursday, and B on Friday. I'm very excited to meet you all, and I hope you all have an amazing rest of your Monday.